Ben Yunsen here, and today I want to talk to you about soloing over chord changes. Now that was me soloing over a pretty well-known set of chord changes, largely focusing on major and minor 2-5-1s in B flat major and G minor respectively. I talk about this in great depth in my online course How to Practice Volume 3, Developing a Linear Language, and it also includes a transcription of the solo you just heard me play. Now don't forget to hit subscribe down below and click the bell button for notifications every time I put out a new video. So when I'm talking about a linear language, I'm talking about using materials such as scales and arpeggios to your advantage so that you know which ones work best over certain chords. And being able to formulate these materials into improvised lines in real time. Let me show you my linear language on an F blues. <laughs> You can also find a transcription of that solo in How to Practice Volume 3. Now a great way for you to begin developing your own linear language is to take one of our materials, let's say scales, and begin connecting them continuously through the changes of a chord progression. Let's say an F blues like we just looked at. Now let's take the very same standard chord progression you heard me soloing over at the beginning of the video, but we'll just limit it to 8 bars, featuring some major and minor 2-5-1s, and we'll do the very same thing. A lot of this comes down to just having a great knowledge of materials such as scales and arpeggios on the guitar neck. And I talk about this extensively in my How to Practice series available at benyunson.com. Now scales and arpeggios are great materials to know, but it's even better when you know how to formulate these materials into an improvisational language of your own. So I suggest you check out How to Practice Volume 3 at benyunson.com for my take on how to do this.